story is for you. Are you ready to listening for that? Okay, now we are starting. The frogs who wanted a king. Once upon a time, a group of frogs lived in a pond. They had everything they wanted, but the frogs wanted a ruler. Therefore, the frogs were sent a messenger to their god. We want a ruler. Please send us one, they pleaded. The god of the frogs thought that the request was very foolish. But just to make them happy, he sent a log of wood. The log of wood landed in the pond with a frightening splash. But soon the frogs realized that the log was harmless. They wanted a living ruler. They sent a messenger again to God, asking him for a living ruler. This time their God sent an eel to, the, to be real ruler. The frogs did not like the eel either. They wanted a powerful ruler. God was very angry at the foolishness of the frogs. He sent a crane to be their ruler. The crane are the ate the frogs one by one as they came up to pay respect to their new ruler. Soon there were no frogs left in the pond. So, my dear children, what is the message behind this story? Not everything that you deserve is good for you. Now move on to our new story. The dog and the log. Once upon a time in a village, a blacksmith had a big dog. The dog would go around barking at everybody in the village. One day, the dog chased the village headman's little daughter. The little girl was very frightened. She complained about the dog to her father. The headman ordered the blacksmith to keep the dog under check. The blacksmith loved the dog, but he did not have a choice. He fixed an iron band around his neck and changed a log of wood to the band so that the dog would not chase anybody. The dog thought, this log is an honor given for my courage and ability. He walked around with great pride. He did not know that it was a punishment for his bad behavior. Finally, one day, an old dog in the village told him that it was actually a disgrace to have a log of wood tied round his neck. From that day onwards, the dog behaved properly for he had learned his lesson. So, my dear children, what is the moral of the story? Do not be conceited. Okay? One thing you have to do is you have to subscribe the channel and tell your friends to subscri subscribe it as well. Share it and like the video. I will come soon. Bye-bye.